What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. It's another lovely day here in Stockholm and I'm gonna do some Tekken videos. And I'm gonna start off with a, a Leroy Smith video. What a really, really cool character, I really love him. Day one I said that it was obvious he's top tier due to some of his moves, you know. We have a frame data and the numbers don't lie, they never do. You can tell by the frames on many of his key moves that this is one hell of a strong character. So day one I was like top tier but not broken. But after having played him a few days I kind of understand the whole package now. And I think he's overpowered. And I'm gonna try and explain in this video why. It's quite apparent to me. It almost feels like um, a boss character where he has taken moves from a lot of characters. But he does them better than those characters. Uh, so I'm going to try and explain in detail why I think Leroy is such a problem and why I think in the next balance patch you're gonna see his name all over the place, you know, Leroy, 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 Leroy fixed an issue where his orbital wasn't plus on block. <laughs> That's what you're gonna see. Um, but yes, why not start with uh, Leroy's uh, orbital? An orbital is always an amazing move to have, you know, it's a low crush, mid safe launcher. That's usual what, usually what they are, you know, mid launcher, great, uh, quite evasive. And uh, Brian usually is said to have the best orbital in the game, but then came Leroy, the boss. And uh, Leroy's orbital is three frames faster than Brian's. He can do an aggressive orbital going forward, he can also do the defensive orbital. Uh, that goes up, you know, that's the best orbital. And he can do it backwards, that version does not launch. But the thing is, Leroy's orbital is minus three on block. Brian's is minus five. At minus five, it's like, mm, probably better respect your opponent unless you, are, you have a hard read. When it's minus three, you're pretty open to do whatever the fuck you want. So that orbital alone is uh, a problem. And I think it has to be toned down. And then you combine this with super easy execution uh, and high damage, you know, and you have um, a character that, with that move alone, can do uh, devastating damage to the opponent. Uh, that's 98 uh, with a pretty damn easy combo. Um, okay, so that's the orbital, but it doesn't quite end there. Uh, then we have a move like uh, down 1 plus 2, which is one of the most absurd moves I've ever seen. Uh, if I stand, you see the distance here, I'll go to around 2.9. Uh, it should hit. Wait. Okay, so it's, it's really at 2.9, 2.1, whatever. Uh, that range is uh, ridiculous. So what does this move do? It's a mid, uh, 21 damage, plus 7 on hit. Ooh, forces crouch even. Uh, you know, they suddenly can't, they don't have access, they only have access to their while standing moves. And on block, it's neutral. What's that? I didn't lose my turn at all? No? And counter hit launcher. And you know what? It almost hits grounded. If they, if they do anything on the ground other than lay completely still, it clips them. Do I have to tell you how good this is in Oki? Uh, oh, sorry. You know, something like this. Big grounded. Uh, uh, wait. Something like this. You ground them, and then you do that. If they do a get-up kick, they're launched. If they move or roll, it clips them. Uh, so, uh, I thought Leroy, Leroy was going to have range problems, but no, it's, it's just the complete opposite. Uh, th this move is cr crazy good. Uh, but it is steppable, but that's where back four comes in. And this is like Heihachi's back four, but on steroids. And this is something you're, you're going to hear a lot during this video. Uh, he has Brian's orbital on steroids. He has Heiachi's back four on steroids. Like, Heiachi's back four is amazingly good. And this is even better. If they're trying to step you, super long range, mid homing. That is plus 11. And it's perfectly safe on block at minus eight. And it comes out at 17 frames, just like down one plus two. This, this move is absurd. And if we're talking space control, um, you know, just uh, making sure the opponent can't sidestep or backdash. 
Back four with its range and homing properties and speed will keep them in check. And then you have the Pimp Sweep, which uh, is a Hell Sweep on steroids. It is faster, it has a crazy range. That is very good range for a Hell Sweep. Uh, and it is homing. Faster, better range, homing. You can't sidestep that. So, I was playing uh, offline yesterday versus one of the best players in Sweden. He saw Leroy for the first time. And this 50-50 just blew his mind. Back four and pimp sweep. Because he was like, I can't backdash. They both have so much range. And I can't, uh, I can't uh, sidestep because they're both homing. So with Leroy's 50-50 compared to the Mishima's, where Mishima's you can step it, here you have to guess, there's nothing you can do. You can't sidestep these, these moves. You can't backdash them due to the range. So you see how he controls spacing? Add this move to that? You can't backdash that. The range is so good and the frames are so good. Uh, th these moves alone to me are, are just absurd. And when you look at his, uh, his other lows, sidestep 4, minus 12, uh, pl plus 4, on hit, on counter hit, it's like Paul's sidestep 3, 2-2 two, two guaranteed, 49 damage, leaves you at plus 7. Um, you have uh, d down 2, uh, which is 15 frame fast, minus 1 on hit. Crushes a lot. That's a good low. You can add a 4 to that. It's not a natural combo, but the second hit is only minus 11. And on counter hit, oops, and on counter hit, you get the whole thing. If the second hit counter hits, it knocks down into a guaranteed uh, ground pound for 45 damage. Uh, down back 4 is a m minus 14 low that has a lot of crushing. You see, it ducks down like that. Uh, if that counter hits, you get a mini float. That's 53 damage, guaranteed. And I don't know if you can convert into a bound, maybe you can do that. But yeah, mi minus 14. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Huarang's down 3-4? Uh, one of the most annoying lows in the game. And, you know, uh, a Huarang trademark. Well, in comes boss Leroy. Down 3-2. Natural combo, it's the exact same thing. Uh, uh, in into Hermit, you know, uh, on stands on one leg, Horan goes into Flamingo, uh, the boss here goes into Hermit. And did you know, this does four damage more than Horan's down 3-4, has pretty much the same range from, from what I can tell. Um, uh, let's see, four more damage. Uh, and it's faster! You see it's 16 frames, Horang's is 17 frames. This is one frame faster. And into plus eight, Horang gets plus 14, nothing guaranteed. So not as big of a frame advantage, but it's not like you're going to challenge Leroy here due to the very quick options he has from that. Especially the, uh, the Ford one option is super scary. Uh, the electric pimp or pimp electric. That's his electric, 14 frames, neutral on block. Uh, it's very good. So the, the guy has absurd lows. You saw all of those lows, you know, and the pimp sweep. Uh, and the mids, you know, back four, down one plus two. Uh, he has a t 12 frame mid launcher. Uh, 12 frame counter hit mid launcher. That's 12 frames. Plus six on normal hit. And on block, it's minus five. It's 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 just crazy. Uh, all of this stuff, you know, this this level of space control, this absurd 50-50, the crazy keep out with the best orbital in the game. Uh, and his, his downford one is super good because it's like, okay, we have a big wind up move, you know, 17 frames, 20 frames. Um, but his downford one is really good. 13 frames fast, long range, hits very deep, you know, hits very low. He can, it's only minus one on block. And he has extensions, natural combo into Hermit. And he has downford one, one even. 
uh, plus five natural combo on block minus one. Like it's, uh, I don't know. It's it's too too much, you know. And his uh, his hermit stance is very powerful. You have a lot of really good moves from here. R really good moves. Um, and his. Uh, we, we haven't even talked about the, the crazy counter hit game. Uh, this string, 10 frame string, 1 1, 1 plus 2 1. On counter hit, this does 47 damage and wall splats. And did you know this is hit confirmable? This, this string is so dumb. Uh, if a second hit connects of a string, it's high mid. If that mid connects, every the, the rest is guaranteed. So all you have to do if you want to hit confirm this string is just to see, oh, does the second hit connect? And you'll do 1, 1, 1 plus 2 every time. But if you see the second hit connect, this is super easy to hit confirm. During those machine gun punches that give you 100 years to confirm, just press 1 and he'll do the final hit. And you've, you've hit confirmed it for a, a million damage. And of course, we have a super crazy 14 frame punish, uh, 56 damage. That is also hit, fully hit confirmable. Uh, just during the punch, the punches are safe. They jail on block. Uh, if they duck the whole thing, you know, they still have to be afraid of you ending the string with that super devastating mid. Uh, crazy. Uh, the pimp cane is absurd. I I'm just going off the top of my head here. Everything I feel is so dumb. Like the pimp cane, 105 damage, easy mode. That's 105 damage without a wall. Plus 8 on block, by the way. Oh. Sorry. I just want to show what the damage can look like. And that, that's not even max damage. I can get 140 damage from that cane with, with no uh, no rage. I, I mean, it's so dumb. That That's more damage than Paul gets what, with, with a wall, you know, in rage with his rage cancel. His max damage launcher, Corso come back for it. And it's using uh, the, the special wall ender. Oh, wait, I dropped it. It's not too hard. That's 140 damage, fully guaranteed. Uh, and that, that's an ender you can always do. Uh, it's easier to do down free to Hermit. And then do that. Um, but it does 40 damage on its own, that wall combo. And that floor breaks, by the way, uh, on a floor break stage. Uh, maybe I can show what that looks like. Uh, we, as we can quickly uh, select another stage. Uh, because it, it's just absurd. And what I'm going to show you is probably not even the optimized damage. Um, but I, I, I just want to tell you guys that these numbers don't lie. The damage doesn't lie. The orbital is too good, frame-wise. Down 1 plus 2, too good. The tracking is too good. His homing moves are great. 4-2 uh, is also another homing. And he, he has pretty good strings. So it's, it's not like he doesn't have mix-ups, you know. You know, he even has strings, you know, and a powerful stance. And it's, I, I haven't even discussed his parry yet. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, 
Ooh, okay. I wonder what fo what follow up is best there. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 just dumb. <laughs> and uh, back free is a really good tool in neutral. Um, that's a natural launcher. Uh, minus six on block. Very long range. Tracks okay to both sides. If they sidewalk, it won't track, but it does track quite a bit. Uh, super fast. 18 frames. 19 if you're standing uh, from this range. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a crazy tool. Um, his parry is absurd. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, okay, I'll let us recover faster than I thought. You can do like Jin, you know, you don't have to do the, um, the pre preset follow-up. You see, that's a punish. Look above my head here. If you parry something that recovers very slowly, just like Jin, launch. Oh. There we go. Uh, okay, so we've seen a lot of absurd shit. Uh, his punishment, you know, uh, 10 frame, 1, 2, 4, very strong. 2, 2, um, 30 damage plus 7. He has another uh, 12 frame punish, which involves his standing 4. And it has absurd range. You can block a hop kick from tip range, uh, like Claudius. You see the range? That's a 12 frame punish. Super long range, 12 frame punish. You see, plus three, 28 damage. Super good, and at 15 frame. Uh, whoa. You have that. Oh. Uh, so I think this has been what I wanted to show um, this stuff has to be toned down in my opinion it's just too much he also has a, a wall uh, wall bounce that is plus one on block and I think low crushes as well this jump here Um. Yeah, uh, I, f I think this covers it. Uh, the ca it's just crazy. So, so what you have is amazing punishment, amazing defense with a keep out orbital and a super strong parry, crazy pressure with the strings, hermit, down free two, all of those frames, a great 50 50 and space control due to back four, homing on pimp sweep, uh, great homing tools. Uh, Ford Ford free also homing plus one on block Cr crazy range uh, crazy counter it game down one plus two back one plus two um, one one into <laughs> um, crazy damage crazy combos access to a rage drive at any point uh, yeah I don't know to me. Some of you might argue this and uh, it can't feel too early to make such a verdict like oh people are going to learn how to deal with him But I think it's pretty fair to say that he's, he's just way too much uh, he's, he's gonna get toned down. He, he's too good. Way too good 
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.